Hey everybody, it's me Ben. It is January 1st, 2021. This is the first vlog of the new year. I uh, hope everybody had a good near and good holiday season uh, amidst of the uh, year that is 2020. Um, here, kind of like a different location on the farm. Behind me, you see there's a bunch of firewood that we've uh, accumulated over the years, trees that we have had to cut down. So I thought this would be kind of appropriate uh, place to do my, my first vlog of the year, you know, kind of uh, cleaning up from what was 2020. Um, it was a, a bittersweet sweet kind of year. Uh, you know, we were all affected by this uh, pandemic and this um, unfortunate virus that has spread throughout the world. So, uh, so just, you know, bittersweet, like I said. Um, yes, we were locked down. A lot of businesses, unfortunately, uh, had to close. A lot of uh, people are out of work. A lot of people are... Um, you know, just not in a good place, you know, financially, emotionally, mentally. Uh, but um, also with that, uh, we were able to reset from, you know, our hustle and bustle of everyday life. Um, we had to be forced to re-examine our priorities, uh, we had to re-examine what is important to us. Um, for me personally, uh, taking care of my family, it's always been my priority, of course, but looking at it from a different perspective, the same goal is there, but a different way of achieving that. It wasn't just not just financial. Now we're looking at, you know, watching over them security-wise, you know, uh, we are in a chaotic time right now. Uh, fortunately for us, and you can see we live on a farm, we're a little more isolated than most people. But like people who live in the city, the big cities, they were really affected by this. So this in turn uh, affected me as well on a certain level or me and my family. So we took precautions to protect ourselves Um be it with home security, uh, food and water uh, became a priority for us. Uh, making sure our home is is well maintained. And when I was in furlough for a, a few months, that was my priority. Um, I finished some projects around the house that were kind of just pushed aside because life got busy. You know, like um, our storage unit was kind of like just catch all with all our stuff. So. We got rid of a bunch of that stuff that we didn't no longer needed and then redid the interior of our storage unit and insulated it, got new shelving, um, you know, got a new washer and dryer, uh, a backup freezer for, for additional food. So that was my goal during this time. My wife had to work. She is a, she works for a, a senior residence in, um, in the area. So she was a, uh, a necess her work was necessary, um, taking care of these people. So, you know, while I was not working, I kept myself busy. I didn't just kind of Netflix and chill. I kind of just went out there and continued on doing something different than what I was doing. So then when I was called back into work at the end of the summer, uh, you know, I was happy to go back to work. But at least at that time, I was able to spend more time with my wife on a, a more of a quality, uh, in a qual more, with more quality, not just, you know, kind of coming and going. Um, she goes to work, I come home from work type of thing. Uh, now we got to actually spend some quality time together. Um, but with that, um, we had some, um, some bitter moments as well. Uh, like I said... Everybody had, uh, some people lost their jobs. My brother lost his work. He had to go in a different line of work now. Uh, but, um, you know, we lost some close people in our lives. It wasn't because of, 
of the virus, fortunately. It was just that, you know, life goes on and people, you know, over time, people that you are loved ones in your life kind of pass on. Um, our uncle in Texas or in um, Colorado, he passed away. He was very close to me and my wife. Uh, he passed on. Um, and then our, you know, of course, our little girl, Kiwi, who we had for over 16 years, she passed on um, in September. Uh, she was just, you know, like she got a lung infection along with her heart condition. She uh, was not strong enough to fight both at the same time. So we made the decision to um, cease her suffering. So, but we're, you know, we, we miss her a, a bunch, you know, and... Now that our little boy Honu is by himself, it's just kind of like we feel kind of a little guilty sometimes, you know. But on the other hand, we get to spend more time with him on a quality level. He like since I'm working from home now, he is now my office mate. So he looks forward to going to work with me in my office every day. He um, he knows what time I have to leave uh, to go from my house to my office, which is about 500 feet away. Um, but yeah, he. Uh, he looks forward to going to work with me, so I don't know what it's going to be like when I have to go back in the office, if uh, how he's going to handle it. But we'll ha we'll have to deal with that when it comes. I'm not sure how far along it's going to be when I go back to my office, uh, but it, it, for now, he is my office mate. I do communicate with my my colleagues on my team and everything too, but uh, it's not the same, you know, interacting with people on a on a um, physical level versus through chat or by text, it's just not the same. So it, it, it's uh, it's been an interesting time. 2020 has been an interesting time. Um, it was an election cycle as well. Um, people uh, kind of got polarized on two different spectrums. I kind of leaned towards the middle, towards one direction, and then there's other people that you know, lean another direction in the middle. And then there's people who are over here and then there's people way over here. And those are the people that, uh, had, um, some choice words for us, you know, me and my wife. Um, and, um, uh, those people, we just kind of filtered out of our life. Now is the other thing about 2020 is that we were able to filter out things that, uh, were, not good for us you know we we are kind of uh minimizing not only our physical stuff in our house but we're also minimizing that surplus of people that are not good for our life so that toxic kind of um relationships we have with people so um we were able to filter a lot of that out um but now we are uh moving on to 2021 and look having a different outlook on things and moving forward as always that's always been my motto you know you can it's, i use the metaphor of a bus you know like and when i was in filmmaking when I, my brother and i were filmmakers there are people who's like yeah i'll help you out i'll help you out and then you know they don't show up or whatever you know my motto is hey you know you can get on with us in the bus we can move forward um, if you don't want to get on the bus at this point and you stay behind, we're not going to wait for you. You know, we're going to keep on moving forward. If you want to catch up down the line, great. But if you're not going to, if you're not going to join us at this point, you know, we're not going to wait for you. So, um, that's how it is with our relationships as well. You know, if you're going to be toxic or you're going to say some hurtful things to me and my wife or my family, you know, we're going to move on you know, without you. So, but anyway, that's, that's, uh, part of what we, uh, went through in 2020 as much as it was uh, bitter. It was also a little sweet, uh, because I was able to accomplish things that I wouldn't have been able to do if, if life just moved forward as if nothing happened. So I take it with, uh, with the half glass full optimism and moving it on to 2021. Hopefully that pitcher of water is full and we'll keep it full moving forward as much as we can and uh yeah 
Hope everybody has a great new year. Hope everybody has a great uh, positive outlook. And um, again, this is my first vlog of the, the new year. And um, hope all of you have a great rest of your day, weekend. And I will talk to you all very soon. Aloha.